Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WWE's Roadblock. Now, typically, what we would like to call this is the Road to WrestleMania, but I think this is more of a roadblock to WrestleMania. With the COO of the WWE Triple H ready to, to you know, just to defend the WWE World Heavyweight Championship against Dean Ambrose. Did we ever think that we would see uh, a match the caliber of, uh, you know, this on a live event and no less just about a few weeks away from the WWE's flagship show, WrestleMania. I had no idea that we would see this, and I'm happy that the WWE World Heavyweight Championship is being defended once again on a live event. I feel that it needs to be happening more, and I feel that this is actually a really good structure for the WWE, and the direction that they're taking is to make the title more important. How? Make it a situation in which the title gets defended consistently, constantly, and by important people with very creative challengers that could potentially take the title away from the champion holder. Here we go. Look at him. He's all wet. It looks like he just went surfing. It's the COO of the WWE. It is Triple A. H and to all of you joining this live stream right now, I just want to say hello and obviously to all the people who are going to be watching a little bit later on down the road uh, when I upload this on the day of the Roadblock live event special live on the WWE Network. I'm going to say hi to you as well. Dean Ambrose, here we go. Ambrose set to face. Triple H, and I'm not sure whether he's doing it on behalf of his friend Roman Reigns or whether he's doing it on his own accord, but he's going to be doing it, and he's going to be trying to take that title away from Triple H, uh, spinning perhaps in the face of the authority. Dean Ambrose versus Triple H, who won and won here tonight at WWE's Hood Black. And here we go, Dean Ambrose. Now, I think the direction that they should actually take with this entire situation here, they have the opportunity to do something really cool here. Uh, with Dean Ambrose uh, defeating Triple H and potentially even going to WrestleMania all the way and battling Roman Reigns. I think that would be a really cool way to restructure the entire event to make it interesting again. Because I'm not sure if anybody is really into uh, Roman Reigns versus Triple H at this current time. I feel the real main event of WrestleMania is going to be Shane McMahon versus The Undertaker for control of the WWE's flagship show, Raw. But, you know, I, I have been wrong in the past, and I want to know what you guys think and, and sound off on the, on the comments section below to make sure that we're all on the same page. I mean, I want to know what you guys think. Are you guys wrestling fans to begin with? Are you on board with Triple H taking on Roman Reigns in the main event of WWE's flagship show? And I got to say, you know, in promoting WrestleMania 33, I... You know, saw a really cool article uh, with the Orlando Sentinel um, that Vince McMahon did. And it was really, really candid. And I recommend that any of you who are actually wrestling fans go read it. Because, you know, we all think that this whole business is reverted around what Vince McMahon wants. And, you know, while that's true to a certain extent, I really have to credit his respect uh, and the fact that he is a one-man show. However, he needs the support of every single human life form in that backstage area to help him realize his vision. Now, obviously, I can't argue that, you know, Vince McMahon likes Roman Reigns and is definitely 100% on top of the decision of making him main event the wrestling show that is WrestleMania, but it's important to know why. 
because Roman Reigns is the future of this business, and I can agree that pushing Roman Reigns down our collective throats is not the way to push him and get him to the top. Nor is it to get him... <laughs> oh my. Excuse me. Nor is it to actually have him participate in the Royal Rumble in which uh, he leaves for about 15 to 20 minutes only to come back later on and, you know, almost act as if nothing happened. I don't like that. I don't think that that's a way to go about it. And here comes Dean Ambrose. Ambrose flipping Triple H around. And wait a second. Tr Triple H's wife, Stephanie McMahon, has put a chair into the ring. And I'm not too confident that that chair is not going to get used at some point in this contest. Wait a second. Very placing the knee right on the, the small of the back. And wow. Oh my, Ambrose! Stephanie McMahon has caused a significant disadvantage for Dean Ambrose. <gasps> uh, I was about to say Stephanie McMahon has caused a major inconvenience for Triple H. But H gets right back into it with a knee to the face. The referee in place. <laughs> and that's what you get on live streams, folks. You get a guy uh, doing a little bit of commentary and also sneezing his fucking brains out. Wow. Planting Triple H right back down to the mat. And look at this. This uh, looks to be the Dean Ambrose show right now. A cover and really starting to weaken the game down. The so not looking like a cerebral assassin right now. Another knee placed strategically in the face. A cover. Ambrose needs to kick out and he does. But, you know, I'm in the camp that Dean Ambrose should defeat Triple H at the WWE Roadblock event. Why? Because I think it's a much more interesting match to have Ock Lesnar take on Triple H and have Dean Ambrose take on Roman Reigns in the main event of the match, the main event of the uh, of the entire show. I think it's much more interesting. And I'm going to be right back here, folks. This is a live stream. I'll be right back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how we do it. That is how we do it, folks. Neckbreaker City by Dean Ambrose. And Ambrose, if he focuses here, he could be the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And look at this. A submission maneuver by Triple H's nemesis, Dean Ambrose. And look at this. What is going on here, folks? Ambrose going for the cover and was distracted by Triple H's wife, Stephanie McMahon. And that's going to be enough for Triple H to apply that neck breaker and a cover. And I think H wants to get out of Dodge here. You notice there, Dean Ambrose didn't fully kick out. He only lifted his shoulder, which shows fatigue. Oh, my. Double, double drop kick right into the hamstring and the asshole area of Dean Ambrose. Oh, my, Ambrose. This is getting ugly, Fox. Oh, my. A huge knife edge chop that you can hear all the way up in the rafters, folks. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. A oh, nice move. Triple H getting downtown to Chinatown. And no, oh my. A pile driver plugging Dean Ambrose's head into the mat below. And that move is illegal, folks. I don't know why this match is continuing. Oh my God. 
Oh my god! I cannot believe what I'm seeing! But Ambrose fighting back! And Ambrose whipping his adversary into the... Uh-oh! Oh my goodness gracious me! Triple H now! Absolutely ruining! And look at this, nice! Oh, great binding the head and now attacking the top of the noggin of Dean Ambrose. And Ambrose is now really starting to feel it. And a kick right to the back. And Triple H in place. One, two. And a kick out by Ambrose. Triple H starting to feel a little frustrated. And I gotta say, if Triple H actually gets uh, this done at Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. That's another pile driver. Come on, Rep, you gotta get in there and stop this. If his neck breaks, I gotta say, the union is gonna be very... And now Ambrose looking to win the title. Will he win the title? Oh my, nice punching. Wait a second, Dean Ambrose. And Ambrose is the one that needs to pin Triple H one, two, three to win the title, but H doesn't need to do that to win and retain this match. Ambrose outside on the floor. Oh my. And this is crazy. Oh my God. Look at that. Dean Ambrose planted Triple H's head and face into the mat below, but after a two, a long one, Triple H escapes. Oh, wait a second. What was that all about? And now look at this. Nice! A flurry of offense by the challenger. Oh, wait a second. What is going on here? Oh, a DDT planting the head into the middle of the ring. And I think a new champion is going to be crowned here, folks. I don't know when and I don't know how. Ambrose again, locking it in. I do not know what am I seeing here. This could be... Wow. Dean Ambrose, the new champion. 